Belize Electricity Limited has indicated to our news center that its gas turbine at the Mile 8 George Price Highway Westlake facility will come on stream sometime this week. We are told BEL is currently conducting necessary testing of equipment and systems before it can bring the turbine back online. Appearing on the WUB Morning Vibe show today, Don Nunes, BEL's General Manager of Employee and Corporate Services, explained that the schedule of blackouts provided by the company is only an estimate of time and the locations. As other officials have done at previous press conferences, she reiterated why they cannot be specific with what locations will be impacted. Um, you might have a situation where CFP will say to us, or a control center, they will say to us that, well, Sheena just explained to you that CFP would give us up to 55 megawatts, mm -hmm. right? That's in the contract. Um, that's in the contract. Mm -hmm. And it's an opportunity contract um, up to 55 megawatts. But under the contract, they can basically indicate to us that at this point in time, we're not able to give you that 55. We can only give you, uh, we need to curtail up to 30 megawatts. So we can only give you, let's say, 25. Mm -hmm. Um, 25, uh, uh, megawatts. So then we're left in a position where we have to find, uh, the, the balance of that and we need to spread the burden across, um, communities. So we wouldn't say, for example, load shed or give a power interruption to the entire Belize district. We would say, okay, we're going to take 10 from the Belize district, 10 from Corazal, or five, um, Ladyville, right? Just giving some, um, some general, um, examples. Now, when we reach the appointed hour, what time did I use? Six o'clock, mm -hmm. um, as an example. It might actually be the case that CFE gives us more power than they initially um, indicated to us. Mm -hmm. So what does that then mean? It then means that, okay, we might not need to take off the feeder in Belize City, or we might not need to take off the feeder in, um, in Ladyville that we had previously announced. Mm -hmm. The converse is true. Right. It might be the case that CFE says, you know what? Um, we can, we, we, what we can give you is less than we previously indicated. So whereas we might have indicated a certain number of errors in our communication, last minute we have to touch Dangriga. <laughs> we have to touch San Pedro. So our commitment to our customers that time is really to, you know, communicate. We try to give the high priority to areas that have essential services, the hospitals, police stations, government offices. Um, those are some of the things that we take into consideration. Sheena Simpson, the manager of system planning and engineering, explains how they decide where they will load shit. We try to match the generation to the load. And if we're expecting that there would be some shortage in generation based on the CFE notice, mm -hmm. um, we create the schedule uh, according to how we expect the load to be growing at that point, how much load we need to shed. So we would have a schedule, um, we consider our load centers, we have feeders, so mm -hmm. say Creme is on Belize feeder tree. Mm -hmm. So we would have Belize feeder tree knowing that the typical load on that feeder is about three megawatts and we need to shed 10, mm -hmm. so that is in a schedule. But when we have more energy from the generating sources, mm -hmm and the load isn't as high as we had projected to have been on that same hour, um, then we don't have to shed feeder three. Maybe we could shed feeder two that's smaller. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to overshed at that point. We do the projections and we estimate what areas would need to be shed. We typically start with the urban areas and then we try to maintain the essential services online while we rotate across the country. And um, on Thursday and Friday, we had two consecutive days that there was shortage from the supply from CFE where we had to do the curtailments. What we did in that time, we tried to ensure that the same areas are not being shed on Thursday and Friday. So there's a bit of rotation going around, um, just ensuring that we shed just enough that we need to shed. Even though there's a schedule that may have been optimistic that we would have had to shed more than that, if there's a need, we make necessary adjustments. So. It's looking at the loading on a 15 minutes basis and deciding if the generation is matching, what would be the percentage that needs to be shared, and that's how the schedule is being made.